when you go to the doctor and the doctor hits you with that hammer under your knee and your leg goes up, that's what a reflex is. But your brain is doing the same thing. And we have learned to worship our brain. So we think anything my brain spits out, I have to take seriously. But when your leg goes up, you don't say, hi, I'm Helen Kramer. And you know, my leg goes up when you hit it under the knee. But the thoughts that your brain spits out become your identity. And you think you are that anxious person. And you think you are that angry person. You think you are that person that binges. And I'm here to tell you that these are reflexive thoughts that will be repeated forever, and they're nonsense. I had a formula, and it's called stop, review, reshape. So the stopping is every time you feel intense, every time you feel scared, every time you feel like you have to binge and you're having negative thoughts, negative self-talk, I'm stupid. Every time that happens, stop. Now, it's likely that in the act of stopping, you've already engaged your higher brain. Then the review part is that you look around you. And I look and I see, well, there's no danger here. Nobody's coming at me with a, a, a knife. So you just take a sigh of relief, and then you can come back to yourself. And in coming back to yourself, you can reshape. I'm an adult. Um, I'm not a helpless child. So if you're feeling, if you use the word abandonment, substitute it for something like, I'm disappointed. I wanted to go out on this date, and the date canceled. So that's how you, and so in my work, I teach people all the replacement behavior that moves them up to who they are so that they can have a present. Because if we're constantly reacting with fear, we're reliving our childhood over and over again, and we're carrying that into the future.